Hindu denominations are traditions within Hinduism centered on one or more gods or goddesses, such as Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. Sometimes the term is used for sampradayas led by a particular guru with a particular philosophy. Hinduism has no central doctrinal authority and many practicing Hindus do not claim to belong to any particular denomination or tradition. Four major traditions are, however, used in scholarly studies, Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism and Smartism. These are sometimes referred to as the denominations of Hinduism, and they differ in the primary deity at the center of the tradition. A notable feature of Hindu denominations is that they do not deny other concepts of the divine or deity, and often celebrate the other as henotheistic equivalent. The denominations of Hinduism, states Lipner, are unlike those found in major religions of the world, because Hindu denominations are fuzzy with individuals practicing more than one, and he suggests the term, Hindu polycentrism. Although Hinduism contains many denominations and philosophies, it is linked by shared concepts, recognizable rituals, cosmology, shared textual resources, pilgrimage to sacred sites and the questioning of authority. Typology Hindus subscribe to a diversity of ideas on spirituality and traditions, but have no ecclesiastical order, no unquestionable religious authorities, no governing body, no prophets, nor any binding holy book. Hindus can choose to be polytheistic, pantheistic, monotheistic, monistic, agnostic, atheistic, or humanist. Hinduism, as it is commonly known, can be subdivided into a number of major currents. Of the historical division into six darsanas philosophies, two schools, Vedanta and Yoga, are currently the most prominent. Classified by primary deity or deities, four major Hinduism modern currents are Vaishnavism Vishnu, Shaivism Shiva, Shaktism Devi, and Smartism five deities treated as same. These deity-centered denominations feature a synthesis of various philosophies such as Samkhya, Yoga and Vedanta, as well as shared spiritual concepts such as Moksha, Dharma, Karma, Samsara, ethical precepts such as Ahimsa, texts Upanishads, Puranas, Mahabharata, Agamas, ritual grammar and rites of passage. McDaniel, six generic types McDaniel 2007 distinguishes six generic types of Hinduism, in an attempt to accommodate a variety of views on a rather complex subject. Folk Hinduism, based on local traditions and cults of local deities and extending back to prehistoric times, or at least prior to written Vedas. Shratha or Vedic Hinduism is practiced by traditionalist Brahmins Shratans. Vedantic Hinduism, including Advaita Vedanta smartism, based on the philosophical approach of the Upanishads. Yogic Hinduism, especially the sect based on the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Dharmic Hinduism or daily morality, based on karma and upon societal norms such as vivaha Hindu marriage customs. Bhakti or devotionalist practices Topic. Sampradaya In Hinduism, a sampradaya, IAST sampradaya is a denomination. These are teaching traditions with autonomous practices and monastic centers, with a guru lineage, with ideas developed and transmitted, redefined and reviewed by each successive generation of followers. A particular guru lineage is called parampara. By receiving diksha initiation into the parampara of a living guru, one belongs to its proper sampradaya. Main denominations Topic. Vaishnavism Vaishnavism is a devotional sect of Hinduism, which worships the god Vishnu as the Supreme Lord As well as Vishnu himself, followers of the sect also worship Vishnu's ten incarnations the Dashavatara. The two most worshipped incarnations of Vishnu are Krishna and Rama, whose stories are told in the Mahabharata and the Ramayana respectively. The adherents of this sect are generally non-ascetic, monastic and devoted to meditative practice and ecstatic chanting. Vaishnavites are deeply devotional. Their religion is rich in saints, temples and scriptures. The Vaishnava sampradayas include Ramanandi Sampradaya, also known as the Ramayat Sampradaya or the Ramavat Sampradaya adheres to the teachings of the Advaita scholar Ramananda. 
This is the largest monastic group within Hinduism and in Asia, and these Vaishnava monks are known as Ramanandis, Varijas or Barijas. Vishistadvaita includes Uddhava Sampradaya to which also the Swaminarayan Sampradaya belongs. They adhere to the teachings of Vishistadvaita scholar Ramanuja. Sri Vaishnavism Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, Sri Vaishnava, Sri Sampradaya, Iyengar is associated with Lakshmi. The principal acharyas are Ramanujacharya and Vedanta Desikan. Swaminarayan Hinduism or Swaminarayanism, based on the teachings of Swaminarayan. Brahma Sampradaya is associated with Vishnu, who is the para-Brahma universal creator, not to be confused with the Brahma deity. The founder of this Sampradaya was the Dvaita Vedanta philosopher Madhvacharya. Gaudiya Vaishnavism is associated with Brahma Sampradaya, and is associated with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Gauranacharya. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness belongs to this Sampradaya. Krishnaism or Bhagavadism Rudra Sampradaya. The principal Acharya is Vallabhacharya. Kumara Sampradaya is the tradition associated with four Kumaras. The principal Acharya is Nimbarka, hence Nimbarka Sampradaya. Other Vaishnava schools and the principal teachers connected with them are Manavala Mamanagal's sect is the oldest Vaishnava sect in India. This Sampraday was followed by Vyasa, Parasara, Bhadayana. The lineage of Acharya is Lord Narayana, next Lakshmi and then Vishweksanar, Namalwar, Nadhamuni, Uyakandar, Manakal Nambi, Alavandar, Pariya Nambi, Ramanujacharya and finally Vedanta Desikand as per the Vidagalai Sampradaya. Thinacharya Sampradaya Vaikanasa Sampradaya. The principal Acharya is Vaikanasa. Ekasaranism or Asomya Vaishnavism, adheres to the teachings of Srimanta Sankaradeva. Krishna Pranami Sampradaya, adheres to the teachings of Devachandra Maharaj. Varkari Sampradaya, teaching of Bhakti saints of Maharashtra Mahanama Sampradaya, adheres to the teachings of Prabhu Jagadbandhu who is considered to be the incarnation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the founder of Gaudiya Vaishnavism is considered to be an incarnation of Vishnu. Shaivism <laughs> Shaivas or Shaivites are those who primarily worship Shiva as the supreme god, both immanent and transcendent. Shaivism embraces at the same time monism specifically non-dualism and dualism. To Shaivites, Shiva is both with and without form, he is the supreme dancer, Nataraja, and is linga, without beginning or end. Shiva is sometimes depicted as the fierce god Bhairava. Saivists are more attracted to asceticism than adherents of other Hindu sects, and may be found wandering India with ashen faces performing self-purification rituals. They worship in the temple and practice yoga, striving to be one with Shiva within. The major schools of Saivism include Saiva Siddhanta, adheres to the teachings of Tirumular, Sundaranatha, Nandinatha Sampradaya, the monistic school, or of Makandadeva, Makandar Sampradaya, the dualistic school. Adinath Sampradaya or Siddha Siddhanta, adheres to the teachings of Goruknath and Matsendranath. Shiva Advaita, adheres to the teachings of Nilakantha Srikantha, and Apeya Dikshitar. Kashmir Shaivism, adheres to the teachings of Vasugupta and his disciplinic lineage, including Abhinavagupta. Pashapata Shaivism, adheres to the teachings of Lakhalisa, other branches, Lingayatism, or Virashaivism, Virashaivism, is a distinct Shaivite tradition in India, established in the 12th century by the philosopher and social reformer Basavana. It makes several departures from mainstream Hinduism and propounds monotheism through worship centered on Lord Shiva in the form of Linga or Ishtalinga. It also rejects the authority of the Vedas and the caste system. Ayanism is a religion claiming to be a form of pure Dravidian Hinduism and identifying as a Shaivite branch. It is incorporated in the Aiyan World Forum. Topic: Shaktism. Shaktas worship goddess as Mother Shakti in different forms. These forms may include Kali, Durga, Lakshmi, and Saraswati. The branch of Hinduism that worships the goddess, known as Devi, is called Shaktism. Followers of Shaktism recognize Shakti as the power that underlies the male principle, and Devi is often depicted as Parvati the consort of Shiva or as Lakshmi the consort of Vishnu. She is also depicted in other guises, such as the fierce Kali or Durga. 
Shaktism is closely related with Tantric Hinduism, which teaches rituals and practices for purification of the mind and body. Animal sacrifice of cockerels, goats, and to a lesser extent water buffaloes is practiced by Shakti devotees, mainly at temples of goddesses such as Bhavani or Kali. Topic. Smartism Smartas treat all deities as same, and their temples include five deities Pankopasana or Panchadevata as personal saguna divine with form manifestation of the nirguna divine without form absolute, the Brahman. The choice of the nature of God is up to the individual worshipper since different manifestations of God are held to be equivalent. It is non-sectarian as it encourages the worship of any personal god along with others such as Ganesha, Shiva, Devi, Shakti, Vishnu, Surya. The Smarta tradition accepts two concepts of Brahman, which are the Saguna Brahman, the Brahman with attributes, and Nirguna Brahman, the Brahman without attributes. The Nirguna Brahman is the unchanging reality, however, the Saguna Brahman is posited as a means to realizing this Nirguna Brahman. The concept of the Saguna Brahman is considered in this tradition to be a useful symbolism and means for those who are still on their spiritual journey, but the Saguna concept is abandoned by the fully enlightened once he or she realizes the identity of their own soul with that of the Nirguna Brahman. A Smarta may choose any Saguna deity such as Vishnu, Shiva, Durga, Surya, Ganesha or any other, and this is viewed in Smarta tradition as an interim step towards meditating on Om and true nature of supreme reality, thereby realizing the Nirguna Brahman and its equivalence to one's own Atman, as in Advaita Vedanta, the movement is credited to Shankara tilde 8th century CE, who is regarded as the greatest teacher and reformer of the Smarta. According to Hiltbeitel, Shankara established the nondualist interpretation of the Upanishads as the touchstone of a revived Smarta tradition. The Sringeri Sharada monastery founded by Adi Shankara Acharya in Karnataka is still the center of the Smarta sect. <laughs> Overlap Halbfass states that, although traditions such as Shaivism and Vaishnavism may be regarded as self-contained religious constellations." There is a degree of interaction and reference between the "...theoreticians and literary representatives," of each tradition which indicates the presence of "...a wider sense of identity, a sense of coherence in a shared context and of inclusion in a common framework and horizon." It is common to find Hindus revering Shiva, Vishnu and Shakti, and celebrating festivals related to them at different times of the year. Temples often feature more than one of them, and Hinduism is better understood as polycentric theosophy that leaves the choice of deity and ideas to the individual. The key concepts and practices of the four major denominations of Hinduism can be compared as below. Topic: Other denominations. Topic: Shraddhism. Shratha communities are very rare in India, the most well-known being the ultra-orthodox Nambudiri Brahmins of Kerala. They follow the Purva Mimamsa earlier portion of Vedas in contrast to Vedanta followed by other Brahmins. They place importance on the performance of Vedic sacrifice yajna. The Nambudiri Brahmins are famous for their preservation of the ancient Somayagam, Agnakayana rituals which have vanished in other parts of India. Suryaism, Saurism The Suryat or Sauras are followers of a Hindu denomination that started in Vedic tradition, and worship Surya as the main visible form of the Saguna Brahman. The Saura tradition was influential in South Asia, particularly in the West, North and other regions, with numerous Surya idols and temples built between 800 and 1000 CE. The Konark Sun Temple was built in mid-13th century. During the iconoclasm of Islamic invasions and Hindu-Muslim wars, the temples dedicated to sun god were among those desecrated, images smashed and the resident priests of Sora tradition were killed, states Andre Wink. The Surya tradition of Hinduism declined in the 12th and 13th century CE and today remains as a very small movement. <laughs> Gunapadism Gunapatism is a Hindu denomination in which Lord Ganesha is worshipped as the main form of the Saguna Brahman. This sect was widespread and influential in the past and has remained important in Maharashtra. Kalmaram 
Kaumaram is a sect of Hindus, especially found in South India and Sri Lanka where Lord Muruga Kartikeya is the supreme godhead. Lord Muruga is considered superior to the Trimurti. The worshippers of Lord Muruga are called Kaumaras. Indonesian Hinduism Hinduism flourished on the island of Java and Sumatra until the late 16th century, when a vast majority of the population converted by will or force to Islam. Only the Balinese people who formed a majority on the island of Bali, retained this form of Hinduism over the centuries. Theologically, Balinese or Indonesian Hinduism is closer to Shaivism than to other major sects of Hinduism. The adherents consider Asintya the supreme god, and all other gods as his manifestations. The term, Agama Hindu Dharma, the endonymous Indonesian name for Indonesian Hinduism, can also refer to the traditional practices in Kalimantan, Sumatra, Sulawesi and other places in Indonesia, where people have started to identify and accept their agamas as Hinduism or Hindu worship has been revived. The revival of Hinduism in Indonesia has given rise to a national organization, the Parasada Hindu Dharma. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Newer movements. The new movements that arose in the 19th to 20th century include Ananda Marga, Arya Samaj, Ayavazi, Brahmoism, Pratana Samaj. Ramakrishna Mission Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana Swadhyay Parivar Movement Sathya Sai Organization Topic. Slavic Vedism or Neo-Vedism Slavic Vedism, Slavic Hinduism, or Neo-Vedism or simply Vedism are terms used to describe the contemporary indigenous development of Vedic forms of religion in Russia, Siberia, other Slavic countries, the Commonwealth of Independent States members and generally all the post-Soviet states. Slavic Vedism involves the use of Vedic rituals and worship of ancient Vedic deities, distinguishing from other groups which have maintained a stronger bond with modern Indian Hinduism, although Krishnate groups often identify themselves as Vedic too. Also some syncretic groups within Rodnovery Slavic neopaganism use the term Vedism and worship Vedic gods, but mainstream Rodnovery is characterized by its use of indigenous Slavic rituals and Slavic names for the gods. Cross-denominational influences Atman Jnana Jnana is a Sanskrit word that means knowledge. In Vedas it means true knowledge, that Atman is identical with Brahman. It is also referred to as Atma Jnana which is frequently translated as self-realization. Bhakti movement The Bhakti movement was a theistic devotional trend that originated in the 7th century Tamil South India now parts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala, and spread northwards. It swept over east and north India from the 15th century onwards, reaching its zenith between the 15th and 17th century CE. The Bhakti movement regionally developed as Hindu denominations around different gods and goddesses, such as Vaishnavism Vishnu, Shaivism Shiva, Shaktism Shakti goddesses, and Smartism. The movement was inspired by many poet saints, who championed a wide range of philosophical positions ranging from theistic dualism of Dvaita to absolute monism of Advaita Vedanta. Scriptures of the Bhakti movement include the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavata Purana and Padma Purana, as part of the legacy of the Alvars, five Vaishnava philosophical traditions has developed at the later stages. Topic. Schools of Indian philosophy Hindu philosophy is traditionally divided into six astika Sanskrit, astika orthodox schools of thought, or darshanam, darshanam view, which accept the Vedas as the supreme revealed scriptures. The schools are Samkhya, an atheistic and strongly dualist theoretical exposition of consciousness and matter. Yoga, a school emphasizing meditation, contemplation and liberation. Naya or logic, explores sources of knowledge. Naya sutras. Vaisheshika, an empiricist school of atomism 
Mimamsa, an anti-ascetic and anti-mysticist school of orthopraxy Vedanta, the last segment of knowledge in the Vedas, or the JNAN knowledge Kanda section, the Nastika schools are in chronological order Karvaka Jainism Ahivika Buddhism However, medieval philosophers like Vidyaranya classified Indian philosophy into sixteen schools, where schools belonging to Seva, Panini and Rezasvara thought are included with others, and the three Vedantic schools Advaita, Vishishtadvaita and Dvaita which had emerged as distinct schools by then are classified separately. In Hindu history, the distinction of the six orthodox schools was current in the Gupta period golden age of Hinduism. With the disappearance of Vaisheshika and Mimamsa, it was obsolete by the later Middle Ages, when the various sub-schools of Vedanta Dvaita, dualism, Advaita Vedanta non -dualism, and others began to rise to prominence as the main divisions of religious philosophy. Naya survived into the 17th century as Navya Naya, Neo -Naya. while Samkhya gradually lost its status as an independent school, its tenets absorbed into Yoga and Vedanta. See also Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources Topic External Links Overview of the Four Divisions of Hinduism Description of four denominations.